You do this because you think it's necessary? Every day I see the worst sapient life has to offer. Governments are soft, unwilling to make the hard choices. Someone had to stand up and make the galaxy safe. How'd you end up running this ship? I was in law bounty. Eventually I hit upon this idea. Keep the criminals in space, and the galaxy is a safe Maintaining place. Maintaining a population this size in space can't be cheap. We can cut corners that governments can't, and each prisoner brings in a fee from his homeworld. These individuals are violent, and their home planets pay well to keep them here. What happens if the homeworld doesn't want to pay? We explain that we can't maintain the prisoner without their help, so we'll be forced to release him back onto his homeworld at an unspecified place and time. So it's an extortion racket? You don't have to agree with my methods, but don't question my motives. These are despicable people, and I'm keeping them locked up. Let's get on with this. Have there been escape attempts? We're in space. They have nowhere to go, and they know it. But still, we exercise extreme caution. These are dangerous individuals. We have many ways to control the population. I'm going to confirm that the funds from Cerberus cleared. Out processing is straight down this hallway. Just keep going past the interrogation rooms and the Supermax wing. I'll catch up with you later, Shepard. You don't even get good information that way. After a point, victims admit to anything to... Is there something I can do for you? This isn't my business. Glad you understand, ma'am. Hey! Hey, guys, over here! If you're buying prisoners, can you buy me? Man, I, I don't care where you take me or what you do to me. It's gotta be better than this. We're here for Jack. Jack? Forget what I just said. I don't want to go nowhere with you. Tell me more about Jack. The worst trouble you ever saw. Mixed with some crazy and way too much biotic power. That's all I'm saying. I thought this ship was a prison, not a market. Sometimes people buy cons so they can do some punishing of their own, if you understand. Warden sells this to whoever can pay enough. Why are they interrogating that prisoner? He knows something? Nah, that's Bimmy. He don't know nothing. He offed someone in the showers yesterday, I think. The guy he killed was worth a lot to the Warden. Yeah. Sucks to be Bimmy right now. They're going at it pretty hard. Do they ever kill prisoners by accident? I haven't heard of anyone dying. Warden can't make money off us if we're dead. Funny thing, though. The more a guard does it, the meaner he gets. So they rotate him through. So, what are you in for? I killed a few people. Only about 20 or so. And I blew up that one habitat. Small time compared to most of the guys here. What's it like here? Bad. And you gotta watch out. Damn, but someone's always after your stuff. Your smokes, your clothes, your... pride. I haven't taken a shower in three months. I should go. Wish I could go. I hear the screaming in my head. It's night. Nice. Yeah. Out processing is through the door on the far side of the room. This is the Supermax wing. It's off limits. Out processing is back down the hall on your right. They'll bring your package there after the cryo thaw is finished.
apologies, Shepard. You're more valuable as a prisoner than a customer. Drop your weapons and proceed into this open cell. You will not be harmed. You talked up your noble intentions with this prison, but it turns out you're a criminal like the rest. Activate systems! up your noble intentions with this prison, but it turns out you're a criminal like the rest. Activate systems! Hack that control, every door on the cell block opens. It's the only way to get Jack out of cryo. I'm doing it. Be ready. to get down there. Warning. Warning. Sounds like heavy fighting. This should come in handy. All guards, for 
restore order. Lethal force authorized. But don't kill Jack. Tex, lockdown, lockdown. Sector 7, 9, and 11 have lost life support. No survivors. Subtlety. All prisoners, return to your cells immediately, or I'll open every airlock on this ship! got swarmed by prisoners with improvised weapons. I never had a chance. It shows you what kind of people these prisoners are. I don't agree with everything they do here, but it's in the galaxy's best interests. This guard kept maniacs away from innocent people. Can't reach the target. Can't get a lock. Can't reach the target. Shields. 
charge through their armor. Enemies in front.
You're valuable, Shepard. I could have sold you and lived like a king. But you're too much trouble. At least I can recapture Jack. Not happening. You're a two-bit slave trader and I don't have time for it. I do the hard thing civil governments are unwilling to. This is for the good of the galaxy. Kill them! Ah. Can't target them! <laughs> Shields are dead. Can't we? On our right. Can't get a walk. down. Oh! 
Cerberus. What the hell do you want? My name is Shepard and I'm here to get you off this ship. I'm not going anywhere with you. You're Cerberus. Why does it matter if I'm with Cerberus? They've been on my ass for years. Anytime I get free, they put a huge bounty on me. That's why Warden Curel figured he'd struck gold when he caught me. She's destroyed Cerberus property and killed Cerberus people. Hence the bounty. You die first. Why does it matter if I'm They've with Cerberus? They've been Cerber on my ass. That's why Warden... She's destroyed you Cerberus. You die first. I'm working with Cerberus for now because they can help me. With them, for them, I don't care. You show up in a Cerberus frigate to take me away somewhere? You think I'm stupid? This ship is going down in flames. We can get you to safety, and we're asking for your help. We could just knock her out and take her. I'd like to see you try. We're not going to attack her. Good move. Look, you want me to come with you? Make it worth my while. Tell me what you're thinking. I bet your ship's got lots of Cerberus databases. I want to look at those files, see what Cerberus's got on me. You want me on your team? Let me go through those databases. I'll give you full access. Shepard, you're not authorized to do that. Oh, it upsets the cheerleader. Even better. You better be straight up with me. So why the hell are we standing here? Move out. Welcome to the Normandy, Jack. I'm Miranda, Shepard's second in command. On this ship, we follow orders. Tell the Cerberus cheerleader to back off, Shepard. I'm here because of our deal. Miranda will let you into the system. Let me know what you find. Hear that, precious? We're going to be friends. You, me, and every embarrassing little secret. I'll be reading down in the hold, or somewhere near the bottom. I don't like a lot of through traffic. Keep your people off me. Better that way. I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Already? Commander. Shepard, how can I have help? I'm having trouble talk? working between your and anything else. We'll be here if you need me. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal.
What's this area of the ship? That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just... Already? I'm not... Commander. Shepard, how can you get a Not a good talk? time. Anything I'll let you will be here if you need me. I haven't had a meal that good in a long time. I didn't think Rupert had it in him. Commander, do you have a minute, Marina? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another Have you got time. any ideas for potential upgrades we could make? A few ideas, yeah. Here, take a look. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute? There's a lot to do, Shep. Of course, Commander. Shepard. Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in. I'll be here if you need me. Hey. What do you think of Miranda and Jacob? Jacob doesn't know who he is, but that's not my problem. Miranda's a Cerberus bitch. Knew that before she opened her mouth. What do you think of our mission? I don't care. I'm out to survive it, then cut loose. I picked up a lot of resources. Can you use them to help against the collectors? I ran across the schematics for making L5X implants. Still got them in my head. You want to know what I need? Not usually my thing, but I've learned how to get things done on my own. Hey. Picked up a lot of resources. I figured out those L5Xs. Consider yourself lucky. It's not like I keep a library of this shit around. Tell me about you, Jack. I'm still finding out about me. Thanks for letting me look at these files. What's in them? Your friends at Cerberus are into some nasty things. I'm gonna find something I can use. I just know it. What if the answers aren't what you expect? I'm not looking for answers. I'm looking for names, dates, places. What happens when you find what you're looking for? I go hunting. Anyone who's screwed with me pays. Their associates pay. Their friends pay. The galaxy's gonna be a lot emptier when I'm done. What's your history with Cerberus? They raised me in a research facility. I escaped when I was a kid. Been on the run ever since. And they've been chasing me ever since. But soon, I'm gonna chase them. You think about this a lot, don't you? I go to sleep with this. I wake up with it. Everyone I kill, I pretend it's the ones that did this to me. You don't have to live in this pit, you know. It's dark, quiet, and hard to find. That spells safety to me. You know, this ship is a powerhouse. You could go pirate. Live like a queen. I could help. You'd be my first mate? I'd lead the boarding party and handle the executions. What is it about killing that fascinates you so much? I figure every time someone dies and it's not me, my chances of survival go up. Simple. I should go. Yep. Tell me about you, I'm Jack. done talking. Come back later. Yep. So, Kenneth, did you know?
know we've got a crazy woman squatting down in the sub deck? Dossier doesn't say if Okir is on this planet by choice. Assume hostiles. There is only one measure of success. Kill or be killed. Perfection is your goal. Broadcasting orders over loudspeaker. Charming. Stay focused. We're looking for a Krogan warlord. Being hired is merely the beginning. You must earn your place in the mighty army we are building. Observation post. And ready for a fight, it looks like. <laughs> Stop bleeding. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. You son of a bitch. Doesn't look that bad, actually. He doesn't need to know that. I knew it wasn't berserkers. Ah, not at range. You're mercs or alliance. I'm not. I'm not telling you anything. You're not in the best bargaining position. I'm looking for a Krogan named Okir. Who? <laughs> you already know more than I do. I just kill Krogan. The old one in the lab dumps crazy ones down here all the time. Jador hired him to make her an army, but the Krogan he creates are insane. So we use them for live ammo training. It's all crap. I don't get paid enough to goddamn bleed out. Outpost 4, Jador wants us to move. We need coordinates on that Krogan pack. Not a word. Let it go. Patrol, this is Outpost 4. We are overrun. I repeat, overrun. Code 6. Copy that. Off-world presence. We are inbound. <laughs> you won't get the drop on them. They'll mess you up. Get out of here. Go find a shady spot before you bleed out. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh. The scare was a nice touch. I thought so. Come on. Our warlord is somewhere in Jador. We have guests in the compound. If they're not killed immediately, all bonuses will be denied. I'll tell the hit. Watch it. <clears throat>
smell like this world seven night cycles and I have felt only the need to kill but you something makes me speak he's only a week old he must know something about all this if he survived this long survive yes I must survive but not here not against these fleshy shapes I must survive the enemy that threatens all my kind but I failed even before leaving Glass Mother. That is what the voice in the water said. That is why I wait here. You're supposed to be part of a mercenary army. Do you remember Jador? I know that name. It causes anger, but also laughter. It is not a name that will be sung when we march. I don't know what that means, but I have heard it many times. How can you speak if you're only a week old? There was a scratching sound in my head, and it became the voice. It taught things I would need. Walking, talking, hitting, shooting. Then the voice said I was not perfect, and the teaching stopped. And now I am here. It was taught enough to be tested, but for what? I don't know, but I am not perfect. Okir's voice? Did he speak to you while you were in your tank? I heard the voice. Not like now with ears. Inside. I called it Father. It liked that, but it was disappointed. I'm not what it needs me to be. A lab with Krogans. Sounds like an attempt to cure the genophage. Cure? Cure was never whispered. Survive, resist, ignore. How did you disappoint the voice? I don't know. It was decided before I left Tank Mother. I was not perfect. Maybe he's prone to the insanity that the Merc mentioned. I don't know of that, but I'm not perfect. I destroyed Saren's cure. How does Okir expect these Krogan to ignore the genophage if not by curing it? I have no idea. It doesn't look like he's had much success with these Krogan.
Can you show me the laboratory? I need to speak with Okir. The... Glass Mother. She is up, past the broken parts, behind many of you fleshy things. I will show you. Impressive. And dangerous. You fleshy things are slow when big things are in your way. Can you show us the way? Help us fight to the lab. No. A Krogan refusing to fight? I will fight if they come, but I feel it deep that I must wait. I kill, but only here. I am not perfect, but I have purpose. I must wait until called. Released. Don't like the look of that. Stay alert. They're loose! Run! Say a damn light! They're all free! Can't reach the target. Can't target them. Can't reach the target. Target. Can't get a lock. Don't like the look of that. Stay alert. They're loose. Run for your damn life. Stay alert. You're loose! Run for your damn life! They're all free! Shot ready. 
Incoming. I'll deal with the 
can't get a lock. Can't target them. Overloading their systems.
we go. Shepard, don't shoot. You know me. I shut down the security cams as soon as I saw it was you. Never thought I'd say it, but I'm glad it's you shooting up the place. Sorry, Ranathanoptis. You let me go when you destroyed Saren's lab on Vermeer. Had to outrun a nuke in a utility pod, but it's still a second chance. I assume you have a good reason for being at this lab? Don't worry, I'm not wasting the chance you gave me. My work here? Strictly beneficial. Not for the mercs. Jador's on a standard power trip. But Okir is trying to do something good, even if his methods are a little extreme. Everyone deserves a second chance, right? And sometimes giving one pays off. I take care of my debts. What is Okir trying to do here? It's complicated. Jador wants a private army, but Okir mostly ignores her. He's running the project for his own reasons. I created a mental imprint routine to educate his tank bread. Most don't get through it. He dumps them for some reason. He wants to help his people, but he's not looking for a genophage cure, and he's not going for numbers. That's all I know. 
Is paying me supposed to make up for working for Saren or whatever you're doing here? No, but it's a start I wouldn't have had without you. So maybe I'm not the best example of moral research. But give me a little credit for trying. Now if you don't mind, I'm gonna run like hell before you blow the place or something. I know how you work. I'm all for second chances. Not so sure on third ones. Here you are. I've watched your progress. It's about time. The batteries on these tanks will not wait while you play with these idiotic mercs. You want to know who I am before you start making demands? I know you, Shepard. Your own demands will come, I'm sure. You weren't dragged back from death because someone needed a diplomat. Surprised. Old Krogan should know you. I'm sure Rana has already revisited your actions on Vermeer. I'm sure you're eager to retell the story. Such a tale. Saren, the Spectre Traitor, threatens the return of the Krogan Horde by curing the Genophage, undoing the gentle genocide of the Turians and Salarians. But before Saren can deliver his endless troops, in rides Shepard, securing victory through nuclear fire. I like that part. It has weight. I'm sure you're eager to retell the story. Such but... I'm sure you're eager to retell But... Before Saren... I make no apologies. It was the most efficient solution. But I approve. Saren's pale horde were not true Krogan. Numbers alone are nothing. The mistake of an outsider. One that these mercenaries have also made. I gave their leader my rejects for her army. But she grows impatient. It's time for you to take me out of here. We're here about the Collectors. We couldn't care less about your problems. I see. Yes. Collector attacks have increased. A human concern. My requests were focused elsewhere. I acquired the knowledge to create one pure soldier. With that, I will inflict upon the Genophage the greatest insult an enemy can suffer. To be ignored. Your search for the perfect soldier created a lot of failures. You don't care about them? I failed no one. My rejects are exactly what Jador asked for. She simply lacks the ability to command. They are strong, healthy, and useless to me. I need perfection. If a few thousand are rejected, so be it. My work will purify the Krogan. We will not be restored. We will be... renewed. I thought the Krogan ideal was a return to the numbers that threatened the galaxy. We will not need numbers. My soldier is a template. It is a greater threat than all the phantom siblings that would have been at its flank. The galaxy still bears the scars of the Horde, but it will learn to fear the Lance. You're just as cruel and manipulative as those who released the Genophage on your people. Perhaps. But I will restore the Krogan. And my soldier will not provoke a nuclear response as a cure or horde would. My legacy is perfection, with each pure Krogan reaching higher by standing on our dead. They will exceed, but not forget. What did you get from the Collectors? I need whatever you know about them. They are strange, so isolated, yet very available when your sacrifice is big enough. I gave them Mini Krogan. I may have information for you, but the tech was consumed in my prototype, after I determined how to use it without killing the subjects. The deaths were unfortunate, but I only need one success to start the process. So you don't want to cure the Genophage? Contrary to what survivors claim, the Genophage does not produce strong Krogan. The only quality it filters is the ability to survive the Genophage. For every thousand stillborn, too many weaklings live. Every survivor is branded as precious. That's produced more cuddling than your collective human teats. I say, let us carry the Genophage. Let a thousand die in a clutch. We will defeat it by climbing atop our dead. That is the Krogan way. 
If your pet soldier is as strong as you think, maybe I can use him. Perhaps I can strike a deal to secure passage. But my prototype is not negotiable. It is the key to my legacy. Attention! I have traced the Krogan release. Oak here, of course. I'm calling blank slate on this project. Gas these commandos and start over from Okir's data. Flush the tanks! She's that weak will. She'll kill my legacy with a damn valve. Shepard, you want information on the Collectors? Stop her. She'll try to access contaminants in the storage bay. Now you know something? Don't jerk me around, Okir. I will give you everything I can. My legacy must not suffer this insult. Jador will be with the rejected tanks. Kill her. I will stay and do what must be done. Kill Jador, Shepard. I do what I must to save my legacy. I think she's talked enough.
get a lock. Can't reach the target. Find the Can't get a lock. I think she's talked enough. Why would someone so fanatical sacrifice himself for one Krogan? No telling what Oak here jammed into this thing's head. Releasing it may not be wise. A pure Krogan could pack a hell of a punch. We can always use another heavy hitter. If he'll help, I doubt anyone's asked for his opinion. Normandy, Oak here is a no-go, but we have a package that needs retrieval. And he's a big one. But I have concerns about waking it. Yeah, you've said that a few times now. A normal Krogan is dangerous. This one was created and likely educated by a madman. I see everyone's enjoying the new paperweight. Concerns? We don't know anything about it, Commander. I'm not saying we take a crowbar to it right now, but I'm not giving up a potential resource. It's your decision, Commander. Just be careful. Noted. The cargo hold is safe enough while I decide what to do with him. wishes to speak to you in the debriefing room, Commander.
Subject is stable, Shepard. Integration with onboard systems was seamless. Can he see anything in there? Does he know where he is? Unlikely. Current neural patterns indicate minimal cognition. Barring shipwide power loss, the nutrients in the tank could sustain him for over a year. Any idea how dangerous this guy is? He is a Krogan, Shepard. If you were asking whether he is actively hostile, I don't have the necessary data to answer. Okir's technology could impart data, not methods of thinking. The subject may know of his views, but would not necessarily share them. What can you tell me about this guy? Anything unusual? The subject is an exceptional example of the Krogan species, with fully formed primary, secondary, and tertiary organs where applicable. No defects of any kind, aside from the genetic markers of the genophage present in all Krogan. I cannot judge mental functioning. Stand by. I'm gonna open the tank and let him out. Cerberus protocol is very clear regarding untested alien technology. He's either a powerful addition to the crew or a time bomb. I'd rather deal with it now. Very well, Shepard. The controls are online. The switch and consequences are yours. I'm Commander Shepard of the Normandy. Not your name. Mine. I'm trained. I know things. But the tank... Okir couldn't implant connection. His words are hollow. Warlord, legacy, Grunt... Grunt... Grunt was among the last. It has no meaning. It'll do. I am Grunt. If you are worthy of your command, prove your strength and try to destroy me. You wouldn't prefer Okir or Legacy? It's short. Matches the training in my blood. The other words are big things I don't feel. Maybe they fit your mouth better. I feel nothing for Okir's clan or his enemies. I'll do what I'm bred to do. Fight and determine the strongest. But his imprint has failed. Without a reason that's mine, one fight is as good as any other. Might as well start with you. I have a good ship and a strong crew, a strong clan. You'd make it stronger. If you're weak and choose weak enemies, I'll have to kill you. Our enemies are worthy, no doubt about that. Hmm. Hmm. That's... acceptable. I'll fight for you. I'm glad you saw reason. Huh? <laughs> Offer one hand, but arm the other. Why, Shepard? If I find a clan... If I find what I... I want, I will be honored to eventually pit them against you. Shepard. What are your thoughts about our mission? I fight. Doesn't matter who for. Did Okir give you any imprints about the Collectors? I see blurry ships, guesswork about strength. Nothing to help pick a weak spot and tear. Okir spent all his time on old hatreds. Whatever he had, it was used up when he made me. What do you think about the crew? Good bunch if they stay out of my way. Dead bunch if they don't. Train them good if you want to take on collectors. Some of these aliens are too smooth. Anything in your tank imprints that can make use of the resources we found? Hmm. Might have something I could put together. Don't know how useful it will be. Shepard. Anything in your tank? Impressive? Nothing else I can think of. I'm no tech. Enjoy what you've got. Just checking in. Making sure you're acclimatizing. Humans talk too much. Like the tank. 
Come back later. That's all for now. Shepard. Briefing room, Commander. Commander, can I help you? I'm more interested in just already, Commander. wishes to speak to you in the debriefing room, Commander. Shepard, I think we have them. Horizon, one of our colonies in the Terminus systems, just went silent. If it isn't under attack, it soon will be. Has Morton delivered the countermeasure for the Seeker Swarms? Not yet. Let's hope he works well under pressure. There's something else you should know. One of your former crew, Caden Alenko, is stationed on Horizon. Last I knew, Caden was Alliance. Why is he out in the Terminus systems? Officially, it's an outreach program to improve Alliance relation with the colonies, but they're up to something. And if they sent Commander Alenko, it must be big. I suggest you take it up with him. The Collectors just happened to pick a colony with one of my former crew. I don't buy it. It shouldn't be a surprise the Collectors are interested in you, especially if they're working for the Reapers. They might be going after him to get to you. We should send a message to the Citadel. The Alliance can give us reinforcements. Not until you investigate. I don't want the Alliance getting in our way. Once you have the situation under control, I'll send the message personally. Send the coordinates. We'll head straight there. This is the most warning we've ever had, Shepard. Good luck. Joker, set a course for Horizon. I've got to go see the Professor. Tell me you have something. Yes. got a problem. Still can't calibrate the targeting matrix? Those defense towers are useless if we don't figure it out. Sorry, Commander. Getting our comm systems back online takes priority. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Surprised people haven't tried to blame that one on me, too. People out here don't trust the Alliance. It's nothing personal. What is that? Get everyone to the safe house. I'll cover you! Run! Hurry!
assuming control. Ground side. Morden, you sure those armor upgrades will protect us from the Seeker Swarms? Certainty impossible, but in limited numbers should confuse detection make us invisible to swarms. In theory. In theory? That sounds promising. Experimental technology. Only test is contact with Seeker Swarms. Look forward to seeing if you survive. Get a lock! <laughs> 